So the first step is to take the battery out. So here you can see I've got the base of the E7240 showing and there's the battery there. So I'm just going to flip the switch to the right and the battery comes out. And the next thing we need to do is we need to take this cover off the base as well. And this is held by down by two Phillips screws, one on each side. So let me just take these screws out. That one and that one. And get my Tupperware container. Put it to one side to put the screws in. Okay, so to get this cover off, we're going to need to push down and then slide it towards us, like so. Now there's lots and lots of screws that actually we need to take out. Um, and they're screws that are labelled key, uh, sorry, K for the keyboard or P for the palm rest. Okay, so if there is any screws on the underside, we can see immediately we've got two here, K. One just to the bottom left of the fan, like so. And then there's another one just underneath the RAM. Put them in your Tupperware containers. And then we've got loads and loads of um, loads and loads of screws which are marked P. And can you see that the P ones are a lot shorter? than the ones for the K ones. So there were two K ones and then there's two three that's four P screws at the moment five six and then oh there's going to be plenty more so then there's a p screw up here And there's also a couple of um, screws. There's a D screw here and a D screw here. So I'm just going to take those out just in case they're securing anything in. So there we go. So there was two D screws. The next thing to do on the base is we can see this is where the keyboard is connected down here. So there's just a plastic latch that we need to pull up and then the ribbon comes out and I've actually got two ribbons here. So plastic latch up and then the ribbon is disconnected. Perfect. So having done everything we need to do on the base, we now need to take these four screws which are at the back of the, uh, the E7240 off and you can see here you go, if I just move the camera, there's the one right on the far right, two, three in the middle, and then right by the Ethernet port, it's the fourth. So we just need to take these screws out because they hold into place a metal bracket at the back of the laptop, which we need to take off. There's the third, and then and 
here's the fourth splendid having done that we're going to turn the laptop over onto its front again and what we've got to do is as a bezel which is all around the keyboard here and I've just got like a plastic pry tool you can use a pry tool or a guitar plectrum or even an old bank card and you can just see that if you put it under it just flips up now I've done this several times on mine so mine is probably going to come up easier than yours so you do need to be firm with it but just don't be too rough and you can see that then it comes out like that then we're back with a screwdriver to take the um, keyboard out and there are three screws at the top teeny tiny stainless steel screws again into our Tupperware container two Okay, and then we can just pop the keyboard out, just slide it out like that. Once those three screws are out, that's my spare screw that I was missing. Okay, and then we need to get this palm rest off, this plastic casing on top. And what we're looking at here is there are, our, there are screws on this surface that have an arrow pointing towards them just an outline of an arrow so here we go there's one two Okay, three. Some of them aren't going to pop out, um, and they're not going to be that cooperative. If the screws don't come out too easily, just unscrew them as best you can, and then they will come out. They should come out when we take the um, user pry tool to kind of lever the palm rest off anyway so just to reiterate you're looking to take a screw out um, which has got an arrow next to it so I think that's all done oh there's one down here bottom left that's excellent and then the final thing to do is there's just three cables to take out so there's a cable down here where my finger is. Just going to take that out. There's a display cable up here. I'll just use that, the tweezers to get it. And then there's another, there's a third tiny little cable there for the power board. Again, I've just switched it up like that and got it out splendid and now hopefully this palm rest you really want to um, get between with a use a pry tool or a plectrum and get between the plastic of the top of the palm rest and the metal of the case and then just take it up just take it up the body like so oh let me just um Sorry, that, that metal case that we had at the back, I just need to remove that as well because that's holding some stuff in to put that there. Okay, so then the, the palm rest should just, with a little bit of gentle persuasion,
okay so that's what the problem is here um, going to the base again there's two screws either side of the docking station which need to come out so doing that and then that one there and then to turn the laptop back open and there we go there we go, finally the palm rest comes off and we can see here the bottom right hand corner this is where the CMOS battery is just here where I'm pointing with the tweezers and then the speakers if we look at the very front section We've got one speaker here, the left speaker here, and the right speaker here. And we're ready to take those apart. So the CMOS or the coin battery in the E7240 is situated right here in the bottom right hand side. Now it's um, the size of battery is a CR2032. And it's a three volt, um, three volt battery. Now, in order to get it, in order to get it out and to work out why it's not working, we need to undo a ribbon which is connected to the to the motherboard, and we need to take also take out this Phillips head screw which is securing it. So the ribbon is just here. You can see where my finger is. Uh, I'm just gonna flip up the black latch take the ribbon out and then I am going to take out the Phillips head screwdriver and now the battery itself is going to be stuck down probably with a little bit of glue so you should be able just with a big by being firm but gentle just being able to kind of lever it up if it is stuck and you're not quite confident about you know pulling up just with your your thumb and your index finger then um, you may want to get a pry tool underneath it and just be even more gentle with it but there we go and then if we flip it over we can see oh well that's why mine's not working so you can see that Just see if we can get in there. Zoom in a bit more. So the CMOS battery is meant to sit, connect to this circuit board here via a two connector plug. And you can see where it goes in here and it's completely come apart. So that's good because it tells me immediately why um, why the CMOS is playing up. To get a new one, I've just had a check on eBay in the UK, cost just over two pounds, I think. So it's gonna be a similar price in the US. So that's how you um, access and replace your CMOS battery.